Good morning, Stitchy friends, and good morning from Bindi. Say hi, Bindi. And good morning from my new dog here, my new fluffy companion, which thank you very much, Belinda. I really needed something to cuddle. Um, so I am absolutely thrilled with that. Bindi wants her desperately, but she's not having her. I'm going to take her into hospital with me. Um, so I've got something to hug when I'm in there. And I love her. I love her a lot. Don't we, Bind? Eh? We love her. Yeah. Um, Belinda sent me some really um, Midnight Crafter. Sent me some really lovely things this morning. I only just opened the, the box. Um, and she knows what I need. <laughs> One of them is chocolate. <laughs> so, yeah. We've already opened it, haven't we, Bind? We've already opened it. And we've had a couple. Um, which is not a surprise, is it, Bubby? It's not a surprise. Um, thank you for those. Um, I also got... Look. That looks like Millie, that one. Looks more like Millie than it does you. Right? Yeah, looks like Millie, look. So I've got a Chihuahua needle minder, which I needed. So I didn't have one of those, and you know I love my chihuahuas. And I got the cat needle minder. Look at the cat. I wanted that cat badly, and I'm I'm thrilled to bits that you made me a cat. Um, so that's going to be going on my stitching soon as as is as is this one. And I love this. Belinda sent me um this. Oh, sorry. On the other side of the room there and it's like a little witch's brew bottle with some herbs in there which are supposed to be very good for healing and it's got a little witch um, on the bottle and a little thing so I'm going to use it as a bag charm and I'm going to take it with me whenever I go to my hospital appointments um, so hopefully that's going to keep me safe um, so thank you so much my gosh, you've thought of everything, Belinda. You really have. Um, and I feel so lucky that... Um, I feel like I don't deserve it, you know. I feel so lucky that... You know, that you've even thought of me, let alone sent me and gone out of your way to send me things that you've really thought. Do you know what? She likes M&Ms. I know she likes M&Ms. I'll send her those. I'll give her something to cuddle, I'll give her something to make her um, healthy, you know, and I'll relate my needle minders to what she likes. And that you've put so much thought into that lovely care package for me that I am overwhelmed with gratitude for you. And Bindi's very happy too. So both for me and Bindi and Millie and Coco, we thank you with our, with our big warm hearts, don't we, darling? Yes, we do. Um, so, yeah, it's been a week. I know it. Thank you. Um, it has been a week, hasn't it? It's, um, I had my first hospital um, appointment, which was... Oh, sit, darling. Oh, here we go. Sorry, folks. Leave that. No, it's not your poodle. Can you leave that alone? Um, sit, Bind. Good girl. Yeah, so I had my first hospital appointment uh, for the hose pipe down the neck. I'm never, ever having that again, I'm telling you. Never in a month of Sundays will I ever put myself through that again. And it wasn't supposed to be that bad. It was supposed to be something that I could cope with. But I tell you what, it knocked me for six. It really did. I mean... You saw the highly unflattering photo on Instagram. I mean, I looked like a goblin on bloody cider, you know, pissed out of my brains. I, I just looked awful. Um, it was a, a massive long wait to get in to have it done. And that wait was worse than anything, really, because it's like the anxiety while you're waiting. And it was a couple of hours we were sitting outside waiting to go in. So I get called into one 
um, hospital room and had to answer lots of questions and be weighed and um, prodded and poked. And then I had to go out and wait again for ages. Um, all the magazines were crap. There was nothing to read really, not interesting stuff. So I'll remember that for next time, take my own. Um, say hey baby. Um, what else? What am I saying? I'm saying something. Well, my mind's all over the place at the moment, so forgive me if I, if I wander off somewhere. Oh yeah. Anyway, it was my turn to go in and then I had to see like this surgeon dude um, in the office first and he asked me lots of questions and he said, oh, well I have to let you know that it could tear your stomach, it could do this, it could do that. And I thought, yeah, you're filling me with confidence. Anyway, the nurse put this thing in my hand and it really, it really stung bad. And I said, you sure that's in? She said, yeah, it's in. I said, okay. It didn't feel right. Um, anyway, so when I actually went in to do the thing, the doctor put the sedative into the thing in the back of my hand. And it turns out that the needle wasn't in the vein. It was just in the tissue in the hand. And all the medication went in to the back of my hand in the tissue. And so I didn't really get a proper sedative. So I went cold having that hosepipe down the neck. And oh my God, I was gagging. I couldn't swallow it. Because um, when we went in there, me and Sharon, we, we looked at it and it was nothing like the diagram they sent us. It was on the diagram, it's like this quite thin little tube going down. We looked at it and it was like this huge black hose pipe. Oh my God, with a, a huge metal thing on the end. Never again will I let anybody do that to me. Anyway, um, after it was all done, they took some biopsies out of my stomach. After it was all done, they put me in this room with other people that had obviously had it done, but their sedatives were working because they're all snoring like good uns. But I was still wide awake. And the nurse came up to me and she said, did that hurt? And I thought, you know what, I'm going to punch you right on the nose in a minute. But being the nice British girl I am, I said, no, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. um, so yeah and she said oh she said you're not very sleepy and I said no I <laughs> wonder why um, anyway yeah I got home um, and I was absolutely exhausted and I just I hit the sofa my friend made me a flask and had some bits to eat around me so I didn't have to get up um, and I just, I just went to sleep for hours after that. I'd had enough. It was just like one of those days. Anyway, I got my report back. Where's my report bin? Here we go. It's my NHS report here. And it said, apparently I gave consent here, it says, for the procedure to be carried out. If only I had known, they wouldn't have had that. Um, right, so apparently I've got a hernia in my tube that comes down there and there's like a hernia about there, which I never knew I had. Um, I have got, what have I got? I've got a huge ulcer, no I it's not huge, it's five centimetres. Um, and where's that? That is... Uh, site E. So there's site E. There's my stomach. Where's E gone? Can't find it. There. So that's where I have um, an ulcer and that's where I have the hernia. Uh, yeah. So they've taken four things out of there for biopsy. Um according to this. This is quite good because it tells you everything you need to know really. So I was quite pleased with that. Uh, what else? Oh, this one just saying I've got moderate size hernia. 35 to 40 centimetres. 
That's bloody big, isn't it? My God. Um, I've got gastritis. Um, so I might need um, some antibiotics or something for that, but that's fine. Um, they're a bit annoyed because my scan that showed all the lumps in there wasn't sent to them by the doctor's surgery. So they were a bit cross about that. But it's not my fault. I'm not the doctor. I wasn't supposed to send it. Um, so, yeah, I've got an appointment next Wednesday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 2.20, I think. Haven't we binned? And so I shall find out what's what. What's the next thing to do? Hopefully would have had my um, scan photographs by then and we can talk a bit more about what's in there. But the good news is that there's no suspicious lumps that have spread to the stomach lining or inside the tummy or anything. So, you know, that's really good. I'm, I'm really pleased about that. Aren't we binned? Yeah. That gave me a bit of a lift up, actually. And I thought, well, maybe it's not as bad as I think, you know. If it's not there, then, you know. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, what else has happened this week? Um, I haven't been very well because I think that it is the result of all the prodding and the poking of my stomach. I'm sure it's aggravating it. Um, and it's just it's just felt really uncomfortable this week. So, yeah, that's been quite horrible and it feels horrible now. I feel a bit like Ripley in the Alien movies that I've got this thing growing inside me and I just want to get it out. And it just like seems, I know it's only been a week, but it just it feels like a month now since I found out and I just want them to get on and take it out. And what's all this mucking about and fussing about? Just get on with it. But um, apparently I've got to have a, a needle aspiration and God knows what else. So I, I'm just thinking all this time is just giving it time to get bigger and bigger. But, you know, I guess I should go private if I want it done now, shouldn't I? And I can't afford that, my God. So, yeah, that's that. So what have I been doing with myself? Well... For the first couple of days, I felt a bit sorry for myself and I thought there's no point in buying any stitchy stuff because I could be dead by the time I get to finish even quarter of it that I've already got. So what's the point? I might as well just work on what I've got and at least try and get finished. Maybe one or two pieces and, and maybe I'll make it to finish those. I mean, that's crazy thinking, but that's how I was thinking to start with. Um, and then I thought, well, I've got to do some shopping because I've got to get some new bras and pants and nighties and stuff to go into hospital with. So I went to Marks and Spencers online and I got myself a few bits there. Um, didn't we bend? So I got some new bras, which was quite nice. I throw out all the old grey ones now with hair dye on them. We've all got them, haven't we, girls? Hair dye bras and hair dye nighties. Um, so I'll have to throw those out now. Um, it's quite nice having some fresh underwear. I'm trying not to use it all, you know, now. So I've got some nice stuff for when I go in. It's hard, isn't it? Because you get a new nighty and you want to wear it. Bindi, you're taking up the screen. Thank you. Seagulls, Bind. The seagulls are out today, aren't they? Um, yeah. So then I was then I was in the shopping mood, and I thought, do you know what? I'll just swing by one, two, three stitch as you do. I'll just swing by. Doesn't mean I buy anything. I'll just see what's going on at one, two, three stitch. Um, so I swung by. I had a look, and I thought, oh. With a nice piece of fabric there. Sorry, excuse me, Bindi. And it's a piece of fabric that I really wanted. And Bind, you're going to have to move, love. You want to show the fabric, Bind? Oh. Oh, God, it's 
excuse me, that is so hard when Bindi just doesn't want to move. So here it is. I've got a piece of murky. I always wanted a piece of murky. So picture this plus murky, and it's just only a small piece. I couldn't afford a large piece, so I just got a small piece. But that, that has got to be some of the most beautiful, witchy kind of fabric that I've ever seen in my life. I love it so much. You can get a good look at that. Eh? How beautiful. So oh, I'm covered in dog thread now. Um, so yeah, I had to buy that. And I just thought, I'll just get the one piece because just in case anything happens to me. I know it's all doom and gloom in my brain at the moment. Oh, can you hear that? The bottle man. Yeah, I'm sure you can hear that. How much? That's a lot of booze. You better not be putting it in my bin. I'll be out there with my walking stick. That's got to be it, surely. Right. Yeah, so I bought the murky. And um, now I was thinking, do you know what? Maybe I'll just get a little something to go on the murky. Something that I can take into hospital with me, because it's only a small piece of murky. Or I'll just get a small pattern to go on it. So, I didn't actually... I went to... Where did I go to? I went to the Primitive Hair and I got Lizzie Borden. Look at that. Lizzie Borden. I saw um, Emily was stitching it up. I thought, yeah, I've got that. You know, you do. So I've got that to go on the murky for when I go into hospital. What they will think of me in there, I do not know. Because I also went a bit mad and ordered a Lizzie Borden um, project bag from So Much To Love, which they ain't cheap. Um, so I got my full Lizzie Borden kit, but I don't have a Lizzie Borden needle minder. And I don't know if one even exists in the world. So if anybody knows where I can get a Lizzie Borden needle minder, could you let me know? And then I kind of feel like I've got the whole kit, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I've got some. I've got the threads for it, and I kind of pick my own. I pick my own. Oh, oh, hang on, postman, go on, go back at postman. Uh, yeah, so I've got this one, which now these are from my stash. This limited edition one, which has no name. Um, I got rain shower for the steel grey. I got picnic basket for the I think it's mocha brown or something. And I've got fool's gold for the lighter brown. I got shaker white for the white bits. And of course I've got ruby slippers because I love ruby slippers. It's my favourite. That nearing gold emerald. So yeah, so that's my threads ready for it. So I'm pretty excited about doing that project. Um, and I haven't been that excited about project for quite a while. So yeah. And I need, oh, covered in dog thread. I need something to keep my brain occupied so I don't start thinking I'm gonna die tomorrow and, you know, and give up. I've got to, I've got to carry on as if I've got a hundred years left, and this is just a blip, um, which hopefully it is. But you know, in the early hours of the morning, you know how your mind goes round. Um, yeah, and that's what's been happening to me, my mind, in the early hours of the morning, has been <sighs> thinking, oh my god. You know, I think about my son, mostly. Um, is it going to be all right without a mum? I mean, he's got his... He's got his lovely wife, Kay, who will never let him down and loves him to bits and looks after him like a trooper. She's really good. 
um, so I don't really have to worry about his welfare. But without having his his mum, and I'm his main family link, you know, so, yeah. And then I'm thinking about my stuff. What if what if I don't come through the um, operation or something? And what's going to happen to all my stuff? You know, I'm, I'm I know my son will sort of sort out the best of it, and you know, and take that back with him. But like my little knickknacks and things and. Who's going to care about my little things that I care about? Who's going to care about my jewellery? Who's going to care about my um, my stitchy stuff? Where would that go? I'll be turning in my grave if it gets thrown out. It'll have to go to someone who's going to properly use it. Anyway, this is really morbid talking and I shouldn't be talking like this because we haven't got to anywhere near that stage. Um, but you know what I mean? I'd, I'd be not normal if that hadn't crossed my mind and it's going to cross my mind isn't it so yeah you know what I mean you know don't you right so that takes me on to me not being able to sleep last night I couldn't sleep I was just tossing and turning um, I haven't been to bed yet at all I've been up sat at this kitchen table pretty much all night watching floss tube videos and stitching so I started on the Salem stitch along this one last night because it's the 10th isn't it it is the 10th I think so yeah I started on that and um, and I've done it on Petra from chromatic alchemy and it's 32 count Murano and I bought this huge piece which I've cut in half and there it is there's Petra and it's kind of like grey like that isn't it and it's not the same one but um, I think it's a pretty good match and it's got blue light blue and and greys and, and darker greys in there so yeah so that's where I've got to. That looks like a stamp, but it's an O. It's an embellished O, and there's going to be kind of like a orangey colour in the back of that. Where's all my colours? Let's just put that doctor's thing in there. Um. Okay. What colours have I got on here? I've got all DMC on this one. I didn't push the boat out on this, but I've got this. 730 which is kind of like an avocado green mossy green it's got like this foxy red fox red I would call it um, taupe kind of colour in there and kind of a beigey colour and that's the orange bit that's going to go in that stamp area there that's going to go in there and it's that blacky brown double three seven one for all the writing so yeah and I've got my new needle minder my witchy needle minder that I got from needle keep emporium on there and she's and this is the one I got the other month so real pleased with that one and the needle sticks on there real good but yeah so Happy days for that. Happy days are here again. Da, 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 da. Let me put this away so I don't lose it. Or if I drop it on the floor, which I've just done, and don't pick it up, oh. then Millie Bean will be in there and she'll be tied up in knots in it within 10 minutes. So we don't want that to happen. So yeah, so that's that. 
and that's my Lizzie Borden. So what else have I got? Well, I already bought this monster, this monster thing. Hang on, let's take these out. Which I think I showed you before. The monster, Celtic monster sampler. So I didn't like the colours that were in it. I didn't like the light blue around the outside. So I have substituted it for other colours and I've probably done a really bad job. What, why have I got that light blue there? I don't know what that's for. Oh, that might be for the highlights in, that's for the highlights in the, in the Celtic bit. But for the outside, for the border, this bit round here, which is light blue, I don't like that. So I've gone for blackboard, which is kind of like bluey, it is bluey greeny black, if you know what I mean. Bluey greeny black, you know. Um, I think that'll look better and it'll sort of give it a bit more of a, I think it'll just tie it all together, if you know what I mean. Tie the whole piece together. And then for the dolphins, I've got Bejeweled. So that's for the dolphins and for the writing. So that's looking good so far, those colours. Then this bit is for that little bit of Celtic bit there. So that's a good colour. Um, Otter Creek for the monster. Sorry, that was Piney Woods. This is Otter Creek and that's going to be the monster. Then we start to get the slightly weird colours. So for the sea, can you see the sea along there? I have got this Dinky Dyes in Midnight. That's for the sea. So it still looks good, looking good. But there's some light, there is some light purple in there. So I've got this for that. There we are, the two little birds and some bits and bobs. It's the highlight, light purple. I hope that's going to work. I hope that's not going to look too sort of not belonging. And then this, which I'm not sure whether that's too bright, but there's some highlights in it in places that need a bit, you know, a little bit brighter in there sort of thing. So I might, I might switch that out. That's Robin's egg. I might switch that out at some point for something slightly darker, but that's where I am with that. I have no clue when I'm going to start that. I have no plan to start that anytime soon, but when I do, it's there. And you know how that feels, don't you? Um, yes. Oh! The Lady's Teal, that's supposed to go in there as well. I think. I hope that's for that one and not for something else. I guess I'll find out when I start doing it. Um, I've got Midnight Ride. Yes, I have been on a shopping bender and I'm not going to apologise for it because I've gone through the first few days thinking I'm never going to buy anything again to thinking, do you know what, you can't take it with you so you might as well spend it now to thinking just carry on as normal and if you want it get it um, who's to say what's right what's wrong I don't know I don't know anything at the moment I don't know if I'm coming or going so you know bear with see how it goes hey might be in a different mood next week I might say I never buy anything again but likely though isn't it anyway so I got Midnight Ride, which is very cute, and I got the threads for that. So I'll show you the threads for my Midnight Ride. There we are, there's my Midnight Ride. I've got Garden Gate. 
Shut up. I've got fragrant cloves. And onyx. Burn it. Oh, what's going on? What are you doing? So you only need, there's only three colours in that. It shouldn't be too hard. I really like the way that it's this little box is sat on a ledger saying poison. Can't really see what poisons they are, but I think and it's got different people's names, so whether these different people have been administered all those poisons and this belongs to a serial killer. Oh, something to think about, isn't it? Anyway. Um, oh. I also went on a bender. Oh, dog thread everywhere. I went on a bender, um, shopping bender with Prairie Schooner. Millie! I think she's seen Merlin. Here we go. Millie, there's a nice day outside. Millie! Millie! So, yes, Prairie Schooler, I've got Christmas Tree Farm. Look at that. I know, it's a bit early. But then my mind was thinking, what if I don't make it for Christmas? Maybe I better have an early Christmas and do an early Christmas um, project. I know, it's sad, isn't it? But that's how my mind has been going this week. But today, I'm thinking that's ridiculous. I'm probably going to be as right as rain. They're probably going to, um, in a couple of weeks, say, look, it was all a bad dream anyway, and you haven't got anything to worry about. Um, yeah. You can tell that my mind has gone. I've completely lost it. Anyway, I've got that, and it's cute. I like that. Look at that little truck with all the trees in the back. And this reminds me of my son. One year, when my son was small, we went out to buy a plastic Christmas tree from Woolworths because we didn't have one. We had no money in those days. Um, and I let Chris pick it out. And this was before you could buy stuff online and have it delivered. My poor son, I mean, he must have been only about seven or eight, he carried that Christmas tree all the way home. We couldn't even afford the bus. We had that little money, but we had to have a Christmas tree. And I promised him he could have one. And bless his heart, he carried that huge tree in that awkward box all the way home. And that reminds me of him pulling that Christmas tree. Unfortunately, Chris, you didn't have a sledge to put the Christmas tree on. You just had to carry it. But then was the old days when we didn't have shoes. That's it. So that reminds me of you. And that's why I had to have this. Um, so that's that one. Then I got the three pigs because it's got a big wolf on the, on the thing. I quite like these wolves. And what looks like little dogs passing wind up there. Um, but I think it's their tails or smoke, the houses been blown down um yeah quite i'm quite enjoying these little fairy stories at the moment and yeah i'm really enjoying that red riding hood oh my god i'm enjoying that that's good for me that one and then i got oh the pain in my side so sorry see this is what happens i'll be all right one minute um happy go lucky forgetting about what's going on and suddenly that pain comes back in my right side and it pees me off, honestly. Get it out. Anyway, back to this. I got the tortoise and the hare. Look at those. That's quite achievable for me. And that'll be fun. There's different colours. It's not so dark, that one. Because sometimes I love dark stitching. You know, I love all the scary stuff. But sometimes you have to have a bit of a break and do something a bit light-hearted, don't you? So, uh yeah looking forward to doing the three pigs though because i like wolves that's good good fun good fun okay so that brings me on 
to show you how far I've got with Red Riding Hood and there she is. I've done bloody well, haven't I? I'm proud of myself for doing that. Look at that. So I've got the um, I've got the writing in there and of course I've done it with ruby slippers which is my favourite. And the trees on this side are half a stitch wrong but I don't care because it's not really affecting anything. But everything else, no, it's the trees on this side are half a stitch wrong and these are right. And I'm not frogging all that out because it doesn't affect it at all. Um, what happened was it didn't leave me a gap to put her feet on. So I just put her feet over the top, half a stitch over the top and it's fine. It doesn't really notice. So yeah, I'm just sort of doing the border now. This is not far off finished and I love it. And my, I think my, my daughter-in-law Kay is going to love this once I've framed it up for her. Um, yeah, it's a nice project, isn't it? I do love a prairie schooler, I do. I wish I had them all. I can't possibly do them all. Right, so what else has one got? Well, one has got, because of Belinda, Midnight Crafter, and my great pal, who sends me dogs in the post. Um, I bought this. She enabled me to get this Jack's Dash. Can you see it? So this looks to me like that's like a major commitment for me that one. For some of you out there that might be just a weekend. A weekend's work. But to me that could be six months, a year, three years, ten years work for me. But it's one of those projects that I will be so proud if I finished. Um, and looking at Belinda's, oh, she's done a beautiful job on hers. And I was so envious of it. I just, I just thought, right, enabled by it now. And I got it. I just didn't even think twice about it. I got all the fabrics, um, not fabrics, sorry, all, all the um, threads for it in the back there. Aren't they nice colours? Look at that, nice earthy, earthy colours. So, don't know when I'll start it. I might start it the next millennium, I don't know. But I've got it and I had to have it and it's in my stash. So I'll be doing that real soon. Um, more Prairie Schooler. Look at that. Three blind mice, owl and the pussy cat, tortoise and the hare, the three bears, and a random fox. I don't know what fable that is, but it's the fox and the grapes. And if you know that fable, please tell me because I've never heard of that one. Um, or for nursery rhyme or whatever it is. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I don't know whether I'm going to start this one first or this one. But I might do this one because that looks so stinking cute. So, um, they're little bedtime stitches, which is what I need. Mm. I'm really chuffed with that one. Uh -huh. And then, yes, I haven't finished. I'll tell you what I am going to do there. I'm going to put my needle minder on. Bear with There we are, suitably dressed for the occasion now. Got my Millie badge. Thanks, Belinda. Um, I saw this on so and so, and um, it kept saying unavailable, 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 and I kept going back and checking unavailable, unavailable. And the more it was unavailable, the more I had to have it. Um, so I checked all the British kind of sewing um, online stores. Nobody had it. So I had to go to 123 Stitch to get it. And it's by Ink Circles and it's called Northwoods. That is some good stuff right there. 
Look at the back there. Little lady, Victorian lady hunter there with her dog, Smudge. I'm going to call him Smudge. Um, so it's like a hunting scene. I mean, I love animals and I would never shoot an animal in a million years. Um, but I'm not looking at it that way. I'm looking at it as like a little cartoon bit of fun. It's just fun. Um, and there's a little man with an arrow. And look, there's a man with a machine gun there. Um, and there's one with a luger. Um, and there's all the animals running for their lives. Which is a bit sad. But I'm, as I said, I'm not looking at it that way. And there's uh, Millie and there's Bindi up there running into the house because there's too much noise and they're scared of the big fat moose. So, yeah, that's that's fun. Look. I want to do that. I've ordered the threads for it. There's only two colours. One caper and one is blaze. Um, I think that's going to look good. So happy days with that. Um, what next? What next? So from my friend um, Brummy Stitcher, April, she sent me some patterns as a gift. Thank you. They're lovely. Um, she was only going. I she was only going to send me one, and I was absolutely thrilled when she'd gone to all the trouble. To send me a load of others um, and the one is that I really wanted and she said oh I'll, I'll send you it was Early Witches um, by Primitive Hair look at that Early Witches isn't that good look it's got Tichuba there um, it's got the Bell Witch Pickety Witch and someone called Laveau and I don't know Laveau someone called Laveau from Louisiana so I must have to research that, unless anyone knows. Um, so, yeah, lovely. Thrilled to bits. And not only does she does she do that for me, she goes to the trouble to print them out, A3, so that I don't have to strain my poor old granny eyes and I can see the um, charts. I mean, how kind is that? I've never known such kindness in my life. Um... But yeah, and then she went the extra mile, or the extra 500 miles, um, and she got me boot tree, look at the boot, and she got me, when black cats prowl and pumpkins gleam, may luck be with you on Halloween. Look at her, dear soul. I wouldn't do it on the blue fabric, I shouldn't think. I'm not keen on denim colour fabric. But... Um, yeah, because I don't think that, that colour comes out very well on that. But I will do it my own sweet way. And it probably won't look any, any near as good as that. But it will be mine and it will be beautiful. And I will enjoy every stinking minute of doing that. Thank you. Then, no, we haven't stopped. We're going on. I have got this one. Which has got like a bat there and a pumpkin and um, some garden weeds. I think they're garden weeds. It's called Midnight Jack. Yeah. Nice. We're still going. I've got Jack's house. A big old pumpkin there. It's a good job I've got a lot of this colour in my stash. We have got... We have got Halloween. That with a cat with arched back and <laughs> lovely, lovely. And this has got to be a real favourite of mine because this is Piggy Witch again. Look, and she's saying, "Who's got a kiss for the Piggy Witch? Not me." Look at that. So. I'm going to be so busy. I mean, you guys out there are giving me stuff to keep my mind occupied so I don't dwell on things. Um, and I feel like you're all holding me up. 
all of you. I've had so many well wishes. Um, so many. And I do feel like you're all you're all lifting me up so I don't fall. And every day somebody says, How are you doing? You know, so that I'm not that person on her own dealing with this by myself. I have a million friends out there who are all holding me up. Um and I'm not gonna cry in this video, so but I'm filling up. You can see I'm filling up. Um, but I'm not going to cry. I've promised myself. Uh, yeah. So thank you so much. I tried really hard to answer all my messages on um, my last YouTube video. Um, if if I've missed you or you've just added one, I'm so sorry. I haven't got round to it. Um, I'll have another look later and see if I've missed anyone. So I don't want to miss anybody out. I really don't. Um, because you're all taking the time to ask me how I am. And you're all genuinely interested and caring. And, oh, shout out to Kelly Bell Stitches. Kelly is making me a witch, a witchy doll. She went and she made a video about all her witchy, witchy dolls that she'd made before um, and um, asking me what I would like you know and I was thinking my god I'd just be honoured to have anything that you made I'd be I'm honoured just that you think about me you know um, but you are putting your time and effort into creating something for another person that you've never met and that is that's um overwhelming and you know it's like they're they're really people are inherently good deep inside us we most of us care about each other on this planet and you know if if we can all do something like that for somebody every day do a kindness for somebody do you know what i'm sure we'd get on so much better and there would be half the trouble that we have these days so yeah i'm waffling <laughs> i'm just all my thoughts are like like coming out upside down and backwards because they're all muddled up with all sorts of other thoughts at the moment. So bear with until I get my head straight. But I just wanted to say, Kelly, um, thank you so, so much um, for offering to do that. Um, yeah. I just, oh, just, I'm, I'm, I'm really stoked, you know. I feel like I'm, I'm stoned with it all. It's just you know great thing yeah i'm lost i'm totally lost can you tell <laughs> um i would say thank you mini gray mini i got to be in your q snap thank you so much i was in minnie's magic q snap and i always wanted to be in minnie's magic q snap and she put me in her q snap this week and i was like what <laughs> so yes thanks minnie <laughs> really happy about that uh, what else oh Danielle Stitcherista sent me a wonderful supportive message um, thank you Danielle because you're going through it just as much as I am and you've gone through some really tough bits and Hopefully, fingers crossed, you come in at the other side now. Um, but it meant so much to get that message. Uh, yeah, I can't tell you. Really. They're filling up again. <laughs> filling up. Um, yeah, so thank you, Danielle. She's, she said she is thinking of me and, you know, right back at you, girl. Thinking of you too. 
also Bev and Teddy, Bev's going through it. Just found out this morning, Bev. Go through it to together, girl, you know. It's life, isn't it? You know, we can do this. We got this. Um, so who have I been watching on the floss tube box? Who have I been watching? Well, I watched Vonna this morning with her cuddling her cats. Her cats are so cute. I watched Emily yesterday and Buster and Dharma. Uh, I like Emily because I like her projects. I find her projects really inspiring and I just feel like, oh, so enabled. It's like a shopping channel for me, you know, just, oh, yeah, I've got to have that. Write that one down. Um, yeah, so <laughs> Emily's shopping channel. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I shouldn't watch too many of those. Um, yeah, who else have I been watching this week? Oh, lovely McKenna, my daughter from, my stitchy daughter from the USA. Love you, McKenna. Um, she's so supportive and so loving and she's just got the most beautiful soul ever. Um, she's very, um, oh, I just love her. I do. Um, and I really, I really like your um, Frida piece at the moment. Watching that with um, keen interest, and, and I love seeing how you're getting on with that. Um, I love my Midnight Crafter, and I love my my Black Cat Thirteen D. Um, But Midnight Crafter is my favourite at the moment, Belinda. Because I just feel that we're on the same kind of wavelength with stuff. and Yeah, and you're so sweet and so kind and you're so creative. Oh, I just like hanging out with you, you know, in the background. While I have a nice cup of tea and do my stitching. Um, can't wait for your next video. I like Lolly lollipop stitches oh i've been watching the weasleys have you seen the weasleys oh my god they're so stinking cute they're lovely um i love it when they do a video together because they like bounce off each other and like one will finish the sentence for the other um and they just look at each other with love in their eyes and they're so happy and enthusiastic and creative and it's just it's like puts you on a high after you've watched one of their videos so more men stitchers please yeah we can't have too many men stitchers it's nice to see what kind of projects the guys pick out because I just find that interesting what what they like to stitch and you know what they're interested in I find that really, really interesting. Um, yeah. There was someone else I've been watching and it's like totally escaped me now. Who have I been watching? Someone. Yeah. Can't think who it is now. I've been watching lots and lots and lots, to be honest. I've, I've had nothing but floss tube going on in the background this past week. Because I've just needed you, you girls and, and chaps out there to uh, keep me company this week. So you've all been here in my kitchen. You've all been sort of stopping me worrying and um, keeping me going. So that's been great. Um, what am I going to do today? I'm starting to waffle now. But I, do you know what? I've done a long video today. I'm nearly an hour in. And that's good for me, because normally I can only do about half an hour. But I've had lots to waffle on about. Um, I want to attempt to do the um, cutting the grass in the garden today. But my occupational therapist says, no, you're not to do it. But it's growing at the rate of knots out there. And it's becoming a jungle 
and I'm scared I'm going to lose track of my chihuahuas, they're going to get lost. So I might go against occupational therapist's advice and do that. Or maybe just start a little patch. I've got to do something. Uh, no need to do it. Hmm. Yeah. I've got to put some blinds up in the bathroom and my bedroom. And I want to get that done before Monday because I've got another occupational therapist coming to um, check out my bedroom because they're talking about putting a rail to help me get out of bed. Because so the bed is like here and I always get out this side. So um, in the morning, because if I've laid on my stomach in the night, it sort of builds up with fluid and I can't get up. Um, so I have to like, I'm pulling myself up on the radiator to get up. So what they're saying is they can put this like bed rail up there and like this bed rest. So I can lean against that at night to stop the fluid build up. And then I'll have that rail on the wall rather than pulling on the um, radiator. So if they can do that, that would be fabulous. But I just want my, my window to look nice when they go up there. So I've got a, a nice white blind. It matches the kitchen ones, you know, but just nice and fresh and clean. And I just will feel more confident if my window looks nicer. So, yeah, put that upstairs and one in the bathroom. So, yeah, I might do that tomorrow, though, because I don't really feel up to climbing the ladder today. But I might do that tomorrow. Right, so. Yeah. So, Stitchy friends, I have begun to waffle, and I need to eat these. Um, thank you, Belinda. I'm not even going to look at the calories, sort of care. There's no point in going now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go. I'm going to do a bit more stitching on Red Riding Hood. And I'm going to do a bit more stitching a bit later on on the um, Salem cell. The babies are all gone to sleep in their beds, so they can't say goodbye. I was hoping Millie would come and say hello, but um, she's too busy. This week. She's got a full itinerary. She can't uh, make an appearance. But maybe next week. Um, yeah, so um, think of me on Wednesday around 2.20 because I'll be seeing the consultant then. Hopefully it'll be some good news or at least some news when they're going to cut this darn flipping alien out of me. Um, yeah, so that's my next hurdle. I should get through that okay. Okay, I'm going to go. Well, I'm definitely going to go. So bye for now. And bye for my lovely poodle, which I love. And I'll see you next week. Bye.